we can go over to Azure Active Directory and configure our app registration. Do this by clicking on App Registrations and then Plus New Registration. We're going to name this AIP OBO or on behalf of V2 since we're setting up the V2 scanner and we're just going to use a dummy URL. And register that. Once we've registered this, you'll notice that we have our application ID and directory or tenant ID available for us to copy. So let's go ahead and copy those and we're going to place them into a new notepad that has the set AIP authentication command uh, pre-populated with what it needs for us to run it. So two of the three things that are necessary are the tenant ID and the application ID. So we'll go ahead and put those in there. third one here is the app secret. So we'll go ahead and create the app secret by clicking on certificates and secrets and clicking new client secret. This will just be secret and we'll leave that to expire in a year. So each year you'll have to recreate that and rerun the command. This value will only be available right after you create it. So make sure that you copy that and paste it into your text file. The last thing we have in this command is the on behalf of. And so this is going to be the user, in my case, Contoso AIP scanner, that runs the service on pr premises. So now we have a full set AIP authentication command ready to be run to gather gather an auth token. The last thing we need to do here is set the API permissions to give that on-premises account permissions in the cloud to be able to write as a delegated user and to read the labels in the Security and Appliance Center. So we start with adding permissions. We're going to click on APIs that my organization uses. And we are going to search for rights. And we are going to search for Microsoft. And we are looking for Microsoft Rights Management Services. We're going to click on Delegated Permissions. We are going to click on application permissions and expand this out. And we are going to choose delegated writer, super user, and content writer. And then add permissions. Next, we are going to add permissions for the sync service. So come back here and we'll type in Microsoft again. And this time we're looking for the Microsoft Information Protection Sync Service. Click on Application Permissions once again. And we are doing unifiedpolicy.tenant.read and adding permissions. So these five permissions are the permissions that are necessary in order for the AIP scanner to be able to read and write in the cloud based upon the on behalf of user. Grant admin consent for Contoso and click yes.